What we do with the, the Scottish Cabinet is it goes for a normal Cabinet meeting. And then there'll probably be one discussion, in, in the case of today about the tourist potential of the Borders Railway coming at this time next year, probably one discussion which is specific to the area we're in. But the, the reason we, we bring the Cabinet around Scotland, this is the 30th Cabinet which has been, is to demonstrate we don't have a government or a Cabinet for Edinburgh, we have for the whole of Scotland. This is the third time we've been in the Scottish Borders and what a wonderful reception we had in Selkirk today. And these cabinet sessions, I mean, you can be asked uh, anything from, you know, what's happening in the local town or local street uh, to what's happening internationally. And that's the, the joy of doing these question and answer sessions. It's the, the best things, the best way to do meetings. Do, you know, street corner, in this case, Victoria Hall meetings. People can ask you anything you like. It's a very powerful way to, to conduct politics because obviously now, and with social media, people tweet. You know, there'll be, I don't know, a couple hundred folk there today and half of them at least will be tweeting on social media about what they were doing. Uh, so it makes the, the public meeting, the question and answer session, both for immediate for the people who are asking the questions, very relevant for government ministers to keep their feet in the ground, uh, and also very powerful in terms of the amplification through the social media. It's absolutely great, nothing to beat it. But a key visit to the Eildon Housing Association, because I, I think as we develop the borders, and particularly as we bring this fantastic new railway line, which I think is going to be a, a route to prosperity for many of the the border towns. Uh, we've got to make sure that the housing, which is going to expand incidentally in the private sector, we've got to make sure there is social housing, there's affordable housing for the people. And I was going to see a, a development today which is part of that great drive that we're, we're undertaking at the present moment. But, but also in terms of like do visits which change people, perhaps people's perception. If you take this company's Fark Energy, headquartered here in Selkirk, six years ago they had four people, now they've got 200. You know, bringing valuable competition into the energy market, driving down bills for, for tenants in particular, with a fantastic offering in the marketplace. But this sort of company, you know, at the cutting edge of competition in the energy markets, could be headquartered in, in Selkirk uh, and staffed uh, and run from here. We have really exciting growth plans going forward. We're entering new sectors in the social housing uh, sector. We're launching a broadband and telephony product for our uh, residential tenants and we're investing more money in continually giving better pri prices and service to our tenants. So the money from Scottish Enterprise will, uh, will help us deliver those goals faster.